offices, schools, movie theaters, including Emanuel AME Church in downtown Charleston, over 300 mass shootings last year alone. Self-defense trainers say eight times out of 10, 80% active killer situations are stopped by one thing, force. And now there are classes designed to teach you how to fight back when you're facing down a gunman. Karina Bolster joins us live in our studio. Karina, you took a class in surviving an active shooter. Tell us what you learned. Well, Debbie and Bill, the self-defense experts I talked to said your best action is to take action. Take a look at this map. These blue dots show the number of mass shootings in just 2015 alone. Now the darker blue, the darker the blue, like you see up here in the Northeast, the higher the number of deaths. Now in this live five investigation, I'll show you the most important move you need to know if you need to fight and what your school district is doing to keep students safe from an active shooter. I wanted to know how to save my children. I think I'm responsible for all those young lives. Meryl Huckabee teaches special ed at Georgetown High School. Instead of relaxing on her weekend, she's in a classroom at Charleston Krav Maga and MMA in West Ashley. Nothing wrong with that. Meryl and I are in a class of two dozen people here to learn how to survive an active shooter. The Department of Homeland Security says to run, hide, fight. These classes take you beyond that advice. Everybody knows how to run, everybody knows how to hide. Those are things that you've known since you were a kid. But fighting, what, what does that mean to the average third grade teacher? She hears fight. Ryan Hoover is the founder of Fit to Fight. He travels the world teaching people how to defend themselves from an active shooter. One of us tries to get to the pad as quick as we can. We didn't really start going after schools and businesses and churches and things until after Sandy Hook. On its website, Charleston Krav Maga and MMA claims to be the only gym certified to offer the Fit to Fight program in the Low Country. The gym offers free active shooter seminars to teachers, administrators, and students. Their message you are the first responder, and you may need to fight. So if I'm inside my classroom, I'm inside an office, and, and the first thing that comes through is the gun, then I'm going to try to get the gun. If I end up tied up like this. The most important move in this situation is redirecting the line of fire. Two initial movements, redirect, and then the second hand is control. I'm going to control with the wrist as best I can. One, two, here. Hoover says redirect is important because it keeps others in the room from being shot. Whoa. That's good. That's good. That's good. If you don't think you can go for the shooter's gun, Hoover says you can try tackling. I'm going to hit him with my shoulder at his knees, wrap his legs, and drive with my whole body. As soon as I'm here, I want to climb up on his back and wear him out. It's also important to know the right way to get away or run through a crowd. I'm going to get myself as thin as possible as I move through that crowd. I'm going through this crowd as quickly as I can. Once I get here, I'm making my takeaway. I put the gun down and I go do it again. Hide is another option. Most important, cover versus concealment. Concealing me is only hiding. It's not going to stop bullets. It's not going to be uh, anything that's going to save my life if he does come in and spray the room. This means closets or turning over bookshelves and tables. Cover. If I can hide behind a wall that's, you know, cinder block and, and, and filled, that might stop bullets too. In real life, you need to be ready to use any or all of these options depending on the situation. We checked with all six local school districts to see what security protocols they have regarding active shooter situations. They all review emergency plans at the beginning of the year, have school resource officers, practice lockdown drills at least once a year, and have made physical improvements to entrances and the schools in their district, including bullet-resistant glass. 12 gauge. At least Berkeley County and Dorchester District 2 have taken part in a demonstration by the FBI to recognize the sounds of shots fired from different distances inside a school. But none of the districts are teaching their employees these hands-on fighting techniques. Berkeley County is teaching its principals basic self-defense. They are doing a fantastic job of implementing stuff that's going to keep their schools a lot safer. In these pictures, they're learning how to avoid being choked or even punched. 
The district hopes to include teachers and all staff in the training in the future. As the gun is seen or you can get to it. Robinson knows firsthand what it's like to be the first line of defense for students. He was an English teacher in the Berkeley County School District for four years, teaching at Cross High and Sedgefield Middle. Their mindset as far as the safety of their schools is, is second to none. The director of safety and risk management for Georgetown County Schools says teaching staff how to fight isn't practical because it's a skill that requires practice. Not so successful. <laughs> Hoover and Robinson believe their training does have a place in school safety plans. More than eight times out of ten, active killer events are stopped with force. Period. We can fight back. We, we do have options besides cowering in a corner and hoping they don't find us. I feel like there's hope. I feel like there are people, if there are people who are willing to intervene with single shooters, that lives can be saved. Now, both Hoover and Robinson say you're not going to be an expert after taking one of these classes. It does take constant training and practice to practice these skills, really. Now, I also looked into what to do in the event of a situation like this unfolds at a mall or even a movie theater. Check out our bonus videos on Live5News.com, which are going to be up there very shortly. Karina Bolster, Live5News.